All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And it's just Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Um, I want to go on this quick little topic, you know, about oppression, you know, because in this society, you know, we're currently being oppressed uh, by the so-called white man, which is called uh, Esau or Edom, you know, according to the Bible. You know, um, basically, from the uh, elite bankers on down, they basically control everything, you know. And it's to the point of no matter where you go or um, how far you, 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 you dig deep, it all going to go back to the so-called white man. From the food, you know, the water, um, your houses, um all these businesses, um, the education, whatever the so-called white man deems is, uh, that they want to put out, you know, um, our women, you know, our families, you know, the, the, the so-called white man just totally destroyed our people, you know, this is Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, it says, surely oppression Make if a wise man mad, you know. So, with everything that's going on in this this society, you know, here you got not even it's not just the, about the Negroes, you know. The the, the Latinos again oppressed too, you know. Native Americans again oppressed, you know. When they came over here to this this country, what did they do? They basically just killed, you, you know, nearly destroyed these people. You know, so so these these people need to like really be done away with, you know, these Edomites, you know, for for multiple reasons, you know, and here you got um, Donald Trump basically um, saying that he don't he, he don't uh, like immigrants when they was the, the first immigrants, the so-called white man coming over to this, this society, you know. And and you trying to say that you don't like immigrants when our people are the ones who's really uh building this this society? We basically built this society, man. And you don't like immigrants, man. That's why the that's one of the reasons why the the so called white man needs to be destroyed. You know, and put into slavery. You know? We don't have any power in this society, you know? From the, the Negroes, Hispanics, or the Native Americans. So for anybody that Loves the society, you know. The, you you just lost, man. You know. All throughout this this America was built on blood. You know, the blood, sweat, and tears of the the, the so-called Israelites. Uh, of the Israelites, you know, not the so-called Israelites, because they are Israel. You know. But but America, you know, they even go into these other countries and oppress them, man. That that gay marriage, that's a form of oppression. So now you can't even speak out about the truth without them trying to say that it's a hate crime. Or you spewing out hate. But the scriptures say that 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 that's hatred, man. You know? Y'all by some y'all shy hates that, man. We hate that, man. So the this this so called white man, he's the devil. And he need to be destroyed. This is Job. 20 and 19 because he have oppressed and have forsaken the poor you know once you once if you poor in this society it ain't it really ain't no coming back for you man you know you 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 what they got that uh pursuit of happiness you know how, how realistic is that man with will smith how realistic is that man it says, and have forsaken the poor because he hath violently taken away a house which he built it not. You know, you build up a house, they can easily take that, man. Your car, anything. We don't own shit in this society. You know, that's not the way that this this was this, this world was created for them to control everything and make money off of. Bottles, water. You know, 
controlling that. Man, the so-called white man is a devil, man. This is Isaiah chapter 5. <clears throat> and 7. It says, For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah his pleasant plant. And he looked for judgment, but behold, oppression. For righteousness, but behold, a cry. You know, we crying out to the Lord. You know, how long do we got to live under this, man? This this wicked ass Edomite, man. This, this devil, man. It says, woe unto them that join house to house. Because that's one of the ways that that this, this so-called white man is oppressing us too, man. They throw us in the ghetto, you know. You you hearing all type of stuff from your next door neighbor, you know. No no type of privacy. Unless you got, even if you got sex in it, man. I say I'm gonna finish it out. I say that lay field to field till there be no place that may. That they may be placed alone in the in the midst of the earth. You know? This is Psalms 17. And 13. It says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. The so-called white man is the sword of... The Lord, you know, Yahweh by some Yahweh shot. He using him as a way to, to, to get our people in check. You know, two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. You know, in the FEMA camps, martial law, famine, um, pestilences, um, thermonuclear missiles, RFID chip. You know, the the, the so called white man is just a, a sport. You know, that's meant for oppression. It says, uh, from men which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure, they are full of children and leave the substance I mean and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness, and I shall be satisfied when I when I awake with thy likeness, you know, like even with all this stuff that's going on out here, you know, the men of the Lord, you know, including myself, you know, we just cool with our daily bread, you know, but it's, when you look in the scriptures and you see how, you know, we're special people, you know, and that the Lord, you know, really loves us, you know, you just sit up there and you think like, why can't we, we get that now, you know? Like, of course, we got to, you know, before the before the honor, you know, comes humility, you know, but it's like when you go through all this stuff, this hell, you know, you just sit up here and you just look at it like these these Edomites are, are living happy, you know, and that 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 really do humble you, you know, when you sit up here and you, you you're oppressed and everything like that. And the only thing that you really got in this world is your Ha'obashim Yahushah. You know, that's your only comfort. You know, that's special. You know, a lot of people ain't gonna gonna be able to 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 to, to withstand that. You know, but that this this the, the with the so called white man being um the sword. You know, this is the the the, the way of the Lord. You know, refining his elect, like like uh. Like gold and silver, you know. So with all this, he's trying our faith, you know, to check and see if we really believe in him. You know. Um. Let me get uh. This scripture, Luke twelve. Luke twelve. And 
and 15. It says, um, And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. Covetousness. It says, For a man's life consists not in the abundance of the things which he possess. You know, so it's not about the things of this world, you know. Because we can't take none of this, this stuff with us, you know. Getting getting thousands of Jordans. That stuff is meaning meaningless, you know. It really don't mean anything, you know. But when it comes to, like, getting the good food, you know, at least not being having to not having to pay for water you know the 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 necessities of your life you know it says uh and he spake a parable unto them saying the god the, the the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful and he thought within himself saying what shall i do because i have no room where to bestow my fruits and he said, this will do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be? Which thou hast provided, you know, when, um, when the, the, cause you got people out here right now that are, um, doomsday preppers, you know, those people who's laying up all those rich, uh, uh, or food, you know, the elect, you know, the men of the Lord, the, the, is that scripture just said, you know, those people, all that food is going to be for the men of the Lord, you know, all that power is going to be. Uh, sifted and given to the men of the Lord, you know, Lord willing, I'm a part of that number. It says, so is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich towards the most high, right? Because like I said, none of this stuff in this world is, uh, the, the Lord don't care about that. He made everything. He made you, you know, your, your, your treasure, our treasure is, is, is in the comfort, you know, for y'all by some you you know? That's our treasure, you know. That's our love, you know. The, the 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 Lord wants you to do what He wants from you, you know. You don't make the Lord out what you want Him to be. He wants you to do what He wants from you, you know. D to to live righteously, have faith in Him, you know. It says, uh, and I'm gonna just finish this out and close the video. It says, um, and He said unto His disciples, therefore I say unto you. Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body, what ye shall put on. The life is, mu is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And which of you, with taking thought, can add to his stature one cubit. If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow, they toil not, they spoil not, and yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so cloth the grass, which is today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he cloth you, O ye of little faith? And seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather seek ye the kingdom of the Most High, and all these things shall be added unto you. You know? So, I'm going to just... Uh, ended with that you know because at the end of the day with all this oppression that's going on out here you know being wise in this truth you know that we, we got our our mind set on the kingdom you know of y'all by some y'all side you know this is to store up our faith you know and and that's basically what we're doing you know
man, the the the, the so called devil needs to be be destroyed, you know, and and any anybody who who's not trying to uh, teach the truth, you know, like these certain camps, you know, you gotta buy a garment. That's oppression too, man. Not teaching the Lord's name. That's oppression, man. So, in general, for for truth's sake, for y'all by some y'all sides, you know, what he want, you know, for 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 his uh his plan to 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 be um what's the word um fulfilled, you know, all of this stuff must go on, man, and it's gonna it's gonna be fulfilled. You know, the so-called white man is gonna gonna go down, going going into slavery, and he's gonna have to pay for everything that he 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 has done. You know, and two thirds of our people, you know, for following and joining hand in hand with this wicked ass society and the so-called white man, they're gonna go down too. You know, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yah Bashim Yah Sha. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the sincere Salawan to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Salawan. And death to America.